Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for leading us and guiding us through this series on truth. God, in the name of Jesus, I submit myself to you, Lord. I come under the control of the Holy Ghost. Lead me and guide me, direct me, save the soul that's near as hell. Reclaim back sliders, Lord. And may this be the happy day that some lost soul comes to you through repentance. And we give your name the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Yesterday, beloved, when we left you, we was talking along the lines of God's uh, mercy and God's truth. We are in a series on truth. Now, today in our society, we have uh, many men that claim to be um, uh, have the answers to everything. Uh, you, you, you know, you have a problem, go to the counselor. You have a problem, you go to the uh, lawyer. You have a problem, you go to the doctors. Yeah, amen. Praise the Lord. We have a a time in which God has been put on the back burner, and men are flaunting their uh, their intellect. All right, all right. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy. I want you to reach over and get your Bibles and let's turn to the book of Deuteronomy, beloved. We're in a time now where men don't pay God no attention. I, they pay him just about as much attention as a pay train pays a tramp. Deuteronomy 32. I've turned. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I want you to read along with me, brother. I don't have any acts to grind. I don't have any denomination to defend. I'm preaching for God. Now, Moses, Moses, God's man, uh, getting ready to leave him. And his last minute's instructions to these people, to, well, really, in actuality, to the kids. See, the, 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 the old heads, the daddies, and the mamas didn't want to obey. So uh, God killed every one of them. For 40 years, he let them dwell in the wilderness. Every one of them devils died off. All right. All right. And we got this same bunch today. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Our old mamas and dads, amen, they used to believe in God. Ain't here now. And uh, we've got the kids running things. You believe say amen. All right. M uh, before Moses' departure, brother, sister, he warned Israel, huh? He warned Israel, your mom and your dad and them wouldn't obey, but now you better obey. All right, all right. Now, uh, about uh, if God going to give you an inheritance, God also give responsibility to those that uh, he blesses. You believe me, say amen. No blessing comes without a string attached. You believe me, say amen. All right, all right. Let me simmer down here a little bit. But Moses warned them, don't you forget God, him. Now, I want to talk to you uh, down into your heart, you that are listening by radio, that uh, you got your job, you got your education, you got your clout in life, you know certain people in certain circles, and you think you really got it going on, and you don't need God, even though God was the one that helped you get what you got. Uh, you don't pay him more attention, amen, praise God, you won't give him his day, amen, I say you won't give him his day, not really every day belongs to him, but he only asks for one day, but you want to work on God's day, you want to play on God's day, I, matter of fact, amen, praise God, Sunday, uh, the Lord's day, uh, the little gods play. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, the sports have become a God. They've taken God's day, amen, praise God, and made it a, a day of, uh, of money, a day of, uh, uh, of income. You believe me, say amen. All right. But now God warns them through Moses, and I'm warning you, beloved. I'm warning you to wake up, amen, praise God, and see what's going on and see how close it is to the return of Jesus Christ and get yourself right with God. You believe me, say amen. All right, all right, watch this. In Deuteronomy 32, Deuteronomy 32 in verse 1, I've turned and I read, Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak, and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth, my doctrine shall drop as the rain, my speech shall distill as the dew. As the small rain upon the tender herb and as the showers upon the grass, because I will publish the name of the Lord, ascribe ye greatness unto our God, and he is a great God. All right, all right. He is the rock. His work is perfect, for all his ways are judgment. All right, how many people, uh, how many preachers preaching judgment today? Uh, all right, all right. That's been outlawed in the many of the modern poor pits. All right, all right. His, he is our rock. I'm in Deuteronomy 32 and verse 4. He is our rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment. A God of truth and without iniquity. Just and right is he. All right. They have corrupted themselves. Here we go. Uh, they have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a perverse and crooked generation. Now, beloved, I want you to understand and, and make, make no mistake. God going to pay us back. Him. Him. Now, this morning, I'm going to talk about warning. 
All right. Because uh, some of us seem uh, we're thick-headed. We can't get it. Uh, the more God gives us, the more we want, the more we ignore him. All right. All right. So, uh, uh, describe your grace to him. All right. Verse 5. They have corrupted themselves. Beloved, sister, you know we, we, amen, we fit this bill. Listen. Listen. This may have been written, praise God, back in the days of Moses. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. But you you not know people haven't changed one iota. We going to do what we want to do. Act like we want to act. Go where we want to go. Amen. Our life is ours. We're going to direct our path. I hear you. Now, you hear me. God holds your breath in his hand, him. Uh, you might want to uh, acknowledge him. You hear me? All right. Verse 6. Do ye thus requite the Lord? Uh, are we stronger than he? Uh, can we argue with him? All right. Oh, you foolish people and unwise. Brother, This, uh, if this man ain't talking about our generation, I, I, I confess. I confess. I ain't got sense enough to know what's going on. Brother, he put he hit us. I mean, he hit that nail right on dead on the head. He's pinpointing us, amen, to a T. America is a wicked place, amen. And I want to talk to you, black folk. Uh, yes, sir, I'm talking to you, black folk, white folk too, but mainly you, black folks, amen. Praise God that God has brought out a bondage. Yet you put yourself back in bondage. You may be sad, uh, cause you won't obey God. You don't want the God of your mama. You don't want the God of your daddy. You want the new gods, newly formed gods, newly uh, come up. All right. All right. Verse 7. I'm in Deuteronomy 32, 7. Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask your father. Mm -hmm. He'll show you. And your elders, they'll tell you. Ask them how God took care of. Ask them how God delivered them out of Egypt. Now, you ask your mom and your dad if they still living, uh, uh, how God made a way for y'all, amen, praise God, when you didn't know what was going on. All right, all right, and you thinking, amen, praise God, when you get up and get grown, get out your mama's house, you know, I don't want my mama and my dad's religion, amen. If I want to remind you that if, you, if you're 40 or 50 or 60 years old right now, amen, praise God, because, amen, a mama or a daddy, a godly mama, a godly daddy were praying for you, you would be saying that. Just too stubborn to know it. All right. All right. I ain't, I ain't mad. I'm just telling the truth. All right, let's skip down. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 10. He found, amen, Deuteronomy 32 and verse 12. So the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no strange God with him. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Boy, I, and we got some strange ones today. We got some strange gods today. All right. All right, I'm not going to go into it right now. I'll get to you later on. All right, verse 13, Deuteronomy 32 and first, verse 13. And he made him to ride on the high place of the earth that he might eat the, the, the increase of the field. And he blessed America. Hadn't he blessed us? All right, I right, watched it. Verse 16, they provoked him to jealousy. Mm -hmm. With what? With strange God. All right, I, 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 amen, praise the Lord. All right, let, let's watch what's going on now. Watch what's going on. They provoked him to jealousy with restrained God, with abomination provoked they him to anger. And brother, sister, when God gets angry, huh, he takes care of us, amen, he handles up. You be saying that. All right. Uh, when God gets angry, he handles up. They provoked them with jealousy, to jealousy with strange God, with abominations provoked they him to anger. All right. Now these sisters and punks and butchers and dykes and bulldog and homosexuals and lesbians, uh, they want us, to, they trying to cram down our throat that God done changed his mind if they, if it is a God. He done changed his mind and uh, Sodom and Gomorrah burned to ashes was a mistake. The devil is a lie. See, God, amen, pray, was God that put in the word of God in the book of Leviticus, verse chapter 20. Amen, praise God that that junk was abomination. All right. All right. You read it. You read it. Deuteronomy chapter 20. It's in there. All right. And the Bible says, Malachi 3 and 6, I'm the Lord your God. I change not. All right. And if it was wrong then, beloved, it's wrong now. You will be saying Let me simmer down here a little bit. 
verse 17. They sacrificed on the devils, not to God. Uh-huh. To gods whom they knew not. To new gods that came newly up, whom your fathers feared not. All right. Oh, that the, uh, the rock that begot thee, thou art unmindful. All right. Here we go. Uh, the more we give us, the more we want. Uh, we don't talk to them until we need some. We don't pray until we need some. You read me say amen. All right. Of the rock that we got thee, thou art unmindful and has forgotten the, the God that formed thee. All right. When the Lord saw it, he abhorred his people. Mm -hmm. He hated his people. Uh huh. Because, because of the provoking of his sons and his daughters. All right. All right. And you don't think we there. Open your eyes, beloved. The marriage bow's been cast down to the ground. We just shacking. You read me shacking. Shacking. Let's try one another out and see whether, amen, we're compatible. And then after a few years, uh, uh, we'll, 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 we'll get married. No, sir. No, ma'am. Amen. Praise God. God was against it then. And God's against it now. You read me shacking. Lesbians, homosexuals, fornicators, adulterers. And brother, we, we, amen, praise God, seem like the men of God and went to sleep. And I, I question whether or, whether or not you are a man of God if you don't call the hands of the sinners. Amen, praise God. And uh, uh, Well, uh, let me uh, back up here. You don't come out of sin first. See, I know why you don't preach sin. I know why you don't preach against sin because you're in sin. You will be shaken. All right. Now, you, amen, praise God. Let me get, let me get busy. Amen, praise the Lord. Lord, help me to simmer down here. All right, verse 19. And the Lord saw it and abhorred them because of the provoking of his sons and his daughter. And he said, I will hide my face from them. All right, you want to know why folks ain't getting healed? Well, they may not be getting healed where you getting here, uh, or where, you, where you go to church at. They may not be getting delivered where you go to church at. Oh, yeah, you raking in the money, but the people come bound and leave bound. You be me shaking. All right, is anybody profited other than you? Huh? Is anybody profited by it other than you? No, sir. And I want to remind you, praise God, that Jesus Christ called you what you are, a uh, howling, and a howling going to get his pay after a while. You be saved by it. All right. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be. Uh, why? For they are a very forward. That means perverted. And, brother, this is an age of perversion. The devil got his hand in some of everything now. Things that used to be uh, uh, repulsive, amen, all of a sudden have become appealing. All right, now, we're in that time now. Wait a minute, right is wrong and wrong is right. The devil is a lie. Huh? But Isaiah 5 and 20, woe unto them that call good evil and evil good. You be saved, man. Brother, we talking about, amen, praise God. You ain't got to do this and ain't got to do that. The government's against the parents. Huh? You whoop, you don't whoop your kids. You don't put a boat on them, they'll put a boat on you. You better wake up. All right. All right. Verse 21. I'm in Deuteronomy 32 and verse 21. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities. Mm -hmm. And I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. For a fire is kindled in mine anger and shall burn unto the Lord's hell. Now, some of them took the fire out of hell. That's why people don't mind going to hell. Huh? We don't think about hell. That's why, amen, praise God, uh, out of sight, out of mind. You believe say amen. Huh? But uh, hell is still hot. Uh, sin is still ugly. And God is angry at the wicked every day. You believe say amen. All right. All right, I, 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 amen, praise the Lord. I got to move. I got to move. I can't stay here. All right, At verse 23, uh, uh, I will heap mischief upon them. I will spend mine arrows upon them. They shall be burnt with hunger and devoured by burning heat and uh, with bitter destruction. I will also send the teeth of the beast upon thee uh, and, and the poison of the serpents of the dust. The sword without and terror within shall destroy both the young man and the virgin, the suckling also and the man of gray hairs. All right, we're losing men and women right and left over in Iraq and some of these other places, amen. This nation is sold its soul for a dollar bill, amen, uh, 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 and for pleasure. Uh, 
uh, uh, Sunday's not a, hol a holy day no more. It's a holiday. huh? Uh, men cuss God, cuss the wind, the weather. Amen. Praise God. And everything that got to do with God, take his name in vain and blaspheme him and then turn right back around. Amen. Praise God. Take the money that he gave you, the job that he gave you, the money you make your, uh, in to make your money, uh, get drunk and spit it back in his face and blaspheme it. And you think God ain't going to visit us? All right. All right, brother. God don't pay off on Friday. God don't pay off on Saturday. But running when God pays off, he pays off in full. You be his hey, Martin. Yes, sir. He pays off in full. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 28. For they are a nation void of counsel. Yes, sir. Neither is there any understanding in them. All right. They don't want to understand God. All right. Oh, that they were wise, that they should understand this, that they would consider their latter end. All right. There's a payday. Payday someday. You may be saying that. Payday someday, beloved. You may be riding high now, amen, praise God, and, 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 and indulging yourself in everything the devil can send your way. But remember now, God is going to call you in question. Yes, son, you can't even die and get away from this. All right, let's move. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 35. To me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time. Uh huh. For the day of their calamity is at hand, and the things that shall come upon them make haste. For the Lord shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants when he see that their power is gone. Yes, sir. And there is none shut up or left. And he shall say, Where are their gods? Their rock in whom they trusted. Can they deliver you? Amen. When destruction comes, I hear you. All right, which did eat the fat of their sacrifice and drank the wine of their drink of them. Let them rise up and help you if they can huh? and be, be your protection. Uh-huh. All right, I want to remind you, God is the only God. Watch this. See now that I, even I, am he. And there is no God with me. Little G-O-D, huh? I kill. Mm-hmm. I make alive. I wound. I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift my hand. Hey, the, the man that's talking here got the power. You be betrayed, man. Huh? Huh? He said, I'm God. Uh, there's no God with me. Huh? I kill. I make alive. I wound. I heal. Hey, hey. The one that's talking here is the one we need to be siding with. You be betrayed, man. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Listen, brother. This is sister. There are men today, amen, pray God, sliding out of here, amen, that live their life in wickedness, but all of a sudden now nah, that they know they got to face God and face eternity and got to go out of here to meet God, they want somebody to come and pray, amen, pray God, God's supposed to have mercy. Oh, but I dare you to draw your last breath and leave this world here. All right, watch this. See, this is what Moses trying to get this bunch to know. Amen. Praise God. Listen, your dad and them, they tried him in the wilderness. Amen. They provoked him in the wilderness. He killed him. You be shaken. God did it. Not the devil. God. You be shaken. God destroyed him. Amen. Praise God because they didn't want to obey God. They want the blessing of God. They don't want to obey God. Amen. It don't make no difference you going to church, amen. Going to church don't make you no more say to me going down to the barn taking a mule tail make me a mule. Brother, you got to be born again. Sister, you got to be born again. You will be saved out. Born out of your sin into the kingdom of God. All right, all right. Notice now what he told him over there, amen. Praise God, the provoking of his sons and his daughter. In verse 19, see, uh, Lord hate him, uh-huh. Uh, those that God has raised up, and yet when they get up, they forget who put them where they are. Uh, you may have a job making thousands of dollars a week, but that don't mean you're on your way to heaven. Amen. You may have a job making money. Amen. You may conquer every woman you see, every man you see. You may enjoy the pleasure of seeing, but brother, I will remind you that they are only for a season. You believe me? Say amen. Sin is only temporary. Eternity is coming. All in, you be saved, man. Huh? Thank you, Lord. We got to get out of here. You be saved, man. There's only two places to go when you leave this world, heaven or hell. You be saved, man. And that choice is made by you, beloved. Yes, sir. 
Your eternity is, de is determined where, what you do, where you go before you die is determined what you, by what you do before you die. And make no mistake, you're going to die. People that came before you done died. Some of your loved ones done died. Your mama, your daddy, amen, pray God. People that you know have died, and brother, you got to die. We got a date with destiny. You be saved, man. You got to meet God. You got to meet God. Bible says, why are none of them that fall into the hands of the living God? Yes, sir. I'm talking about warning now, see. People don't want to wake up. Amen. Praise God. The devil got them seduced and deluded. Huh? Our pleasures of sin. All right. Do what it do. Do what you feel. Do what feels good. Uh, when I was in the world, they had, they had a song talking about uh, 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 whatever feel good, do it. Brother, sister, if you don't trust God with your life in hell, you lift your eyes. You be me say, man. All right. All right. I got to get in a hurry. I got to get in a hurry. Verse Deuteronomy 32 and verse 39. One more time. See now that I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make a lie. Who can keep you when God is getting ready to slide? Hey, when you slide out of him. Uh, when God has said enough is enough and your last time has ticked off, honey, you out of here. You be be saved. You got to get out of here. When God say your time is up, your time is up. Yes, sir. All right. Not many people got enough sense to realize it, though. All right. You think, amen, pray to God because you're walking around with your health and your strength. You can do what you want to, act like you want to, treat people like you want to, and God ain't going to do nothing to you. Can't nobody touch you. But brother, sister, uh, you know, there's a many men, amen, praise God, uh, uh, that have slid out of him, and they tried to find God on their deathbed. And brother, God wasn't here. None of it. You to be saved, man. Wow, you had a chance. You didn't take advantage of the opportunity. All right. Verse 41. If I, uh, verse 40. If I live for I lift my hand to heaven and say I live forever. All right. I want to remind you, you're going to live forever too. Somewhere. Amen. 50 billion years from now, you're going to be rejoicing with Jesus if you repent or you'll be roasted in the pit. You don't even say man. Verse 41, this don't sound like the great grandfather God that's sitting in his heavenly rocking chair winking at his little children when they sin. No, sir. Brother Dave, Moses said, listen, y'all don't know who y'all dealing with. Hey, hey, your mom and dad and them found out the hard way. You don't even say that. And so you better take heed. You better obey. All right. All right. If I wet my glittering and sword and my hand take hold on gem. I'm in Deuteronomy 32, 41. If I wet my glittering sword, yes, sir, and mine hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and will reward them that hate me. All right. And I will make mine arrows drunk with blood and my sword shall devour F-L-E-S-H. But brother, that's symbolic. The devil is a lie. Ain't nowhere in the Bible God ever talked about symbolic flesh. Flesh is flesh. That which is of the spirit is of the spirit. That which is of the flesh is of the flesh. You remember Shaman? He said, My sword shall devour flesh. When? In the day of vengeance. You remember Shaman? Pay, pay your back for hating him. You're going to pay your back for not living for him after you profess to know it. All right. All right. I will make mine arrows drunk with blood and my sword shall devour flesh. That the blood with, and that with the blood of the slain. Now, you ever seen symbolic blood? Wake up, beloved. Wake up, beloved. This is the God we're dealing with. Listen, beloved. I want to remind you that the same God that Moses dealt with is the one that we're dealing with. Nah! You don't even say that! There was a time when God winked at our stupidity. But Acts 17 and 30, God is commanding, not suggesting. God is commanding men to repent everywhere. You don't even say that! Yes, sir. I will make mine arrows drunk with blood, and my sword shall devour flesh, and that with the blood of the slain with, of the captives from the beginning of revenge upon the enemy. Verse 44, And Moses came and spake all the words of this song unto the ears of the people. Ah, uh -huh, he and Hosea, the son of Nun. That's, that, amen, that's Joshua. All right. And Moses made an end of speaking all these words to all Israel. All right, now here's the warning. And he said unto them, verse 46, Set your hearts unto all the words which I testify among you this day, which you shall command your children to observe to do all the words of this law. Why? For it is a vain thing for you because 
It is not a vain thing for you because it is your life. And through this thing you shall prolong your days in the land, whether you go over Jordan to possess it. All right. And you know what we got today? Brother, what we don't have is men and women that's going to stand up and declare the whole counsel of God. You believe me? Say amen. Men don't want to, amen. Don't preach judgment. Don't preach uh, a hell fire. Amen. Praise God. But it's in the Bible. I got to preach it. It's in God's word. We got to tell it. You believe me? Say amen. Isaiah, not, amen, brave man, praise God. Isaiah had something to say about this bunch. Isaiah had something to say about every man, woman, boy, and girl that has rejected Jesus Christ in their life. And I, I turn, Isaiah chapter 13, and I read, and I read, Isaiah th chapter 13 and verse 9, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger. Why? To lay the land desolate. Uh-huh. And he, he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. All right. All right. Why? For the stars of heaven shall and, and their consolation thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogance of the proud to see. Brother, we got some proud. Amen. Pray God. Isn't it ironic people who ain't got nothing? They're proud and whole, honey and high-minded. Amen. Pray God. Too proud to humble themselves to God. You believe me? Say amen. The Bible declare. Amen. Pray God. God resists the proud. But he gives grace to the humble. You don't even say that. I just feel like preaching. All right. All right. I'll punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogance of the proud to see. And I'll lay low the haughtiness the, of the terrible. All right. And I will make a man more precious than gold. All right. Verse 13. Therefore will I shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hope. In the day of his fierce anger. All right. All right, brother. We need some men that's going to stand and declare the whole council and tell you that no matter what you got, or where you are, who you are, you got to meet God before you leave this world. You believe me, say amen. Before you leave this world, you better find him. If you don't, you'll see him in the end. You believe me, say amen. All right, and Ezekiel, amen. Ezekiel, amen, had a controversy with a bunch in his day. Ezekiel 22. Ezekiel found, knew that God's judgment was coming, brother, and he tried to warn the people, amen, but they didn't want it. They was having none of it. You believe me, say amen. In Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 23, I read, I turn, amen, verse Verse 23, and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto her, Thou art a land that is not cleansed, nor reigned upon in the day of indignation. There is a conspiracy of a prophet, of preachers, in the midst thereof, a, like a roaring lion raving in the prey. They have devoured souls. Yes, sir. They have taken the treasures and the precious things, huh? Sucker the people out of their money, but don't give them nothing in return. You need to say amen. Huh? Huh? Come bound, leave bound, you come in sin, you leave in sin. All right, watch this. Uh, uh, they have made her many widows in the midst of them. Her priests, her preachers have violated my law. Brother, preacher, if you're listening to me right now, I want you to know God going to pay you back here, except you repent. Amen. Except you repent and turn your life over to God and get saved. Get out the pulpit. Amen. I want to tell that one of you sissies. Uh, amen. Praise God. You sissy fine. Amen. Praise God. This soft soaping, uh, 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 watered down mess that you preaching. Praise God. And trying to get the people blessed instead of trying to get them delivered. You be saying that. I want to warn you. Amen. Praise God. God is going to get you here. God going to get you here. Huh? Verse 20, I'm in Ezekiel 22, 22, Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 26. Her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy thing. Yes, sir. We don't take all that. Huh? You know, we ain't got to live no holy. I hear you. All right. They have put no difference between holy and profane. All right. Neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean and have hid their eyes from my Sabbath. Uh-huh. Sunday is a holiday. Not a holy day. It's a holiday. I hear you. And, I, and many of them let their folks out early so they can watch a game or go to the ballpark or something. All right. All right. Watch this. And they've hid their eyes from my Sabbath, and I'm profaned among them. Her princes, you know, the rulers, you know, the, 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 the presidents, the, the governors, uh, the congress, uh, her princes in the midst there, the, you know, the ones that's making laws, huh? Her princes in the midst of her are like wolves raving to pray, huh? All right, almost let let me stop long enough to say this. 
Deep men, amen, praise God, the, 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 the representatives and the senators, amen, praise God, and the governors, all these men's making money, hand over fist, hundreds of thousands of dollars, amen, but then when it comes time to get a people that put them in their arrays, a cost of living raise, you want to throw them a few dimes. I would say pennies, but amen, praise God, they know people won't stand for pennies, but people accept a dime. All right. All right, watch this. Uh, 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 they to shed blood and to destroy souls to get dishonest gain. Yes, sir. Uh, all right, fellas. All right. I know you didn't think I was going to get to you. I'm getting to you now. All right, and her prophets have daubed them with untempered mortar, seeing vanity and divine and lying. Have you ever seen so many folks up here prophet lying? Sha ta ta, ah ya ya, all of this. And the Lord said this, and the Lord told me this about you, and the Lord told me that, and you need even neck deep, deep in sin, but God had told this man that he was going to bless you. The devil is a lie. You be say, man, Psalms 84 and 11, the Bible says, amen, no good thing will God withhold from them that walk up right before him. You be say, man, but you got to walk up right before him, brother. But remember now, we live in this life to lead. Yes, sir, we live right because we know we got to die. You be say, man. All right, verse 29. Watch this. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Verse 28. And our prophets have dobbed them with our timber mortar, seeing vanity and divine and lies under them, saying, Thus say the Lord, when the Lord has not spoken. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, he promised you something, and then once he go out of town, amen, he ain't planning on coming back, but he got your money and gone, and you can't get in contact with him, and I fought your pastor. All right, for not having the insight to see a wolf in sheep's clothing. All right. The people have have used the land, used oppression and ex the people of the land have used oppression and exercised robbery and have vexed the poor and needy. Yea, they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully. And I sought for a man among them that should make up the heads and stand in the gap before me for the land. Why? That I should not destroy it, but I found none. Brother, that's a sad indictment on preachers. You hear me? That's a sad indictment on those that profess to be followers of the Son of God and preach God called to come out, God called them to preach. When you don't cry out against sin, the thing that's destroying us is sin. You be the same man. There's only one remedy for this nation here. There's only one remedy for mankind. It's a God sent, heaven born, sin killing revival of the repentance. You be the same man. Verse 31, therefore I have poured out mine indignation upon them, and I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their own way have I recompensed upon their heads, saith the Lord. Yes, sir, brother, we need some Isaiah's today. We need some Ezekiel's today. Yes, sir, we need some Hosea's. And, amen. I, I, in, in the book of Hosea, I turn. I'm turning. Amen. Praise God. It's the word of God that matters. Amen. Huh? In the book of Hosea, the 10th chapter, listen what this book say. Hosea 10 and verse 12, he says, Sow to yourselves in righteousness and reap mercy. Huh? Break up your foul ground. Uh huh. For it is time to seek the Lord. For how long? Till he come and rain righteousness upon us. Until Jesus Christ come, huh? It's time to seek the Lord until Jesus Christ come into your life. You're really saved, man. Huh? We praying for the government, brother. The government ain't going to be saved. Come on here. These men hate God. They hate Jesus Christ. Your society, this society hate God. Don't want to have nothing to do with God. Brother, we're fulfilling scripture whether you realize it or not. All right. Sow to yourselves in righteousness and reap in mercy. Break up your fallen ground for it's time to seek the Lord till he come and rain righteousness upon you. All right. You have plowed wickedness. You have reaped iniquity. You have, uh, you have eaten the fruit of lies. Why? Because thou didst not trust it. You trusted in your own way and in the multitude of the mighty men. Ah, uh, you trust We're we going to put this one in office because he's going to be the man of our. Listen, brother. Listen, sister. It don't make no difference who you put in the White House or any house. Amen. Pray. Except they got God in them. You got a devil over you. You believe it's heaven. All right, look at that 11 chapter. Hosea 11 and verse 7. And my people are bent to backslide from me. Though they call... Though they call them the most holy, none at all will, would exalt him. All right, got a lot of lip service going on now, see. Uh, Matthew chapter 15, verse 7, 8, 9, and 10. Jesus Christ said, amen, Isaiah spoke about this bunch. Jesus Christ quoted Isaiah, said, this, this bunch honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Yes, sir, in vain do they worship me. 
teaching for adopting the commandments of men. All right, we need more men like Isaiah, man, amen. Praise God, all this lily liver, soft, soapy, amen. Pray, love it, dove it, amen. Mushy mouth mess coming out of God's pulpit, amen. Praise God. The Bible declares they've, un they've dubbed them with untempered mortal. They've given them a, a soft word and not the holy word. You believe me, sir, man? Give them a confident word and not a holy word. How in the world can you help a man, uh, amen, pray until you help him get out of his sin? You may be saying, man, why? Why? God is the one that curses and God is the one that exalts. You may be saying, man. Brother, if God don't bless you, you can't be blessed. You don't even say amen. We need more men like amen, Hosea. We need some broad boys like old Joel, amen. Joel didn't shuck and jive, put his foot around, amen, with this word here. You hear me? His people's in a backslidden condition. And Joel 2 1, he brought, he warned the people, blow the trumpet in Zion, huh? Sound the alarm in my holy mind. Why? Let all of the inhabitants of the land tremble. Why? For the day of the Lord coming. Well, it's amen. All right. Fine. Let me turn, let me get there. I, I, uh, Joel. Chapter 2 and verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound the alarm in my holy mountain. Why? And let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Why? For the day of the Lord coming, for it is nigh at hand. All right? A day of darkness and of gloominess. A day of clouds and of thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountain, a great people and a strong. There shall not be, uh, ever, like, neither shall there be any like these. Many generations. All right? Watch this. Verse Verse 12, the only way to avoid destruction, beloved, is to repent. Amen. And God sends his man to warn you. Yes, sir. Joel 2 and verse 12. Therefore also said the Lord, turn you even to me with all your heart. What? What? With all your heart and with fasting. How many fasting you done? How, many, how much fasting going on today? You know it ain't very much. Brother, we are a fat bunch. You hear me? We are a lazy bunch. You hear me? Uh, we won't sacrifice to God. Amen. Pray to God. Everything our flesh won't we get. You be say that. And Paul the apostle said that in the last day there'll be a, a bunch whose God shall be their belly. Just can't get enough. All right. My Bible says, man, if you're a glutton, put a knife to your throat. Huh? Huh? Keep from being a glutton. All right. I'm in uh, Joe L. 2 and verse 12. Therefore also... The, uh, uh, also now said the Lord turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning and rend your heart and not your clothes mm -hmm. and turn unto the Lord your God for he is gracious and merciful slow to anger and of great kindness and repenting him of the evil now you ain't seen nothing yet brother you think September 11 was something amen now brother this nation ain't seen nothing yet America is Babylon Babylon, if she's not Babylon, she's one of her daughters, amen, because this nation is a nation, amen, praise God, has rejected God, you be been saying, Biden. Mankind is not afraid of God now because of the sissies in the pulpit. All right, preaching what God ain't instead of preaching what God is, you be been saying, man, Moses said, I want to warn y'all, and Deuteronomy he said, I want to warn y'all, amen, pray God, who y'all dealing with. All right, but in Joel 2 and verse 14, who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering, a drink offering unto the, unto the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify fast, and call a solemn assembly. Gather the people, sanctify the, and the congregation. Uh, that means put sin away, brother. That means put your mess down, come to God. Amen. That means, amen, praise God. Whatever you say, amen, whatever you put your faith and your trust in, brother, turn to God from that. You believe it? Say amen. Hallelujah. Can your, can your wife save you? No. Can that man save you? No. Can that woman save you? No. Can your mama, your daddy save you? Can the government save you? No. Brother, I tell you how much power the government got. When it come down to dying, can they keep you from dying? Hear me? You got to leave here. Now, I don't believe in God. I hear you. But remember now, you will. You will. I, I don't believe in God. That don't mean no different. Amen. Pray. I don't believe in hell. That don't make no difference. Amen. Hell is still hot and you still going. You need to say amen. Except you repent. Turn. 
acknowledge God. Amen. Praise God. Let him direct your life. All right. I'm in Joel 2 and verse 16. Listen what this book say. And get, gather the people, saints by the congregation, similar the elders, the grab, gather the children. Huh? It sounds like he's getting everything. Huh? From the youngest to the oldest and back to the oldest. All right. Huh? All right. And those that suck the breath. Uh -huh. Let the bridegroom go forth of her chain. It ain't time to make love now. Huh? Let the bride out of her claw. Hey, it ain't time to get married now. Brother, it's time to seek the Lord. You'll be saved, man. All right, verse 17. Let the priest, let the preachers pull their collars off. Let the preachers come out of the pulpit. Get on their knees down into the dirt. Amen. Let the ministers of the Lord weep before the porch and the author and say, and let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach that the heathen shall rule over them. Wherefore thou, they shall say to among the people, Where is their God? Hey, hey, spare your people, Lord, huh? Huh? Spare your people, Lord, because of our sin. You need to say that. All right, I got to move. I got to move. That, now, that's Joel. Joel won a bunch in his day. All right. But now in the book of Amos, Amos 5. Let's read, brother. Turn next door to Amos 5. And let's look at what Amos had to say about the bunch in his day. Because, brother, amen, people haven't changed one hour. You read say amen. Amos 5 and verse. I think I want that four first. Listen to what this book says. For thus saith the Lord unto the house of Israel and to you and me. Seek ye me and ye shall live. Uh-huh. But they, but seek not Bethel nor uh, uh, Gilgal, huh? Because them people, them, they're only people, huh? I'm God, you believe say that? All right, verse 6, seek the Lord and you shall live, uh-huh, lest he break out like fire in the house of Joseph and devour it, and there is none to quench the Bethel. All right, but watch this. This is where we at right now, verse 10. They hate him that rebuke it in the gate. They abhor him that speak it uprightly. Don't nobody want to hear nothing, but amen, pray God. I don't want you telling me about my sin. Let me do what I want to do. I'm going to live like I want to live, and I'm going to heaven my way. No, you won't. No, you won't. Honey, if you ain't going to live by this Bible, you better build your heaven because you ain't going to the one that Jesus prepared. You believe me? Say, man! Let me simmer down here a little bit. They hate him. They rebuke him in the gate. And brother, you want to know some of the most hated preachers on the face of God's planet is the man that's crying out against sin. As long as you come and, amen, pray a prophesying lies, scratching back, tickling ears, amen, praise God, you'll be popular, but you stand up and call sin, sin, amen, praise God, then they'll put a blacklist on you. All right, I got to move. Amen, verse 11, I'm in Amos 5, verse 11, for as much therefore as your treading is upon the poor, and you take from him the birds of wheat, and ye have built houses of huge stone, but ye shall not dwell in them. Ye have planted vineyards, but uh, watch this, but you shall not drink wine of them. All right. For I know your manifold transgressions and your mighty sins. See, we ain't just got sinners, run. We got mighty sinners. All right. All right. In the government, in the White House, and in your house. Yes, sir. Mighty sinners. Uh, if you ain't drinking, you're smoking. If you ain't drinking and smoking, you're cussing. If you ain't drinking and smoking, you're fornicating and committing adultery. If it ain't that, you're lying. Amen. Right on down the line. I could name some of come a little closer to home, too. Amen. Praise God. But whatever you're doing, that's again, the Bible declares, amen, whatsoever never not as righteousness is sin. You believe it's sin, man. All right. I got to move. Uh, watch this. For I know the man, I'm in Amos 5 and verse 12. For I know your manifold transgression and your mighty sin. They afflict the, uh, the just. Uh huh. They take a bribe mm -hmm. and they turn aside the poor in the gate from their right. Therefore, the prudent shall keep silent in that time when God pulls our judgment. Why? Why? They ain't going to get in God's way. Amen. For it is time, it is the evil time. Seek good and not evil that you may live. Huh? And ain't that what he said over in verse 6? Seek the Lord and you shall live. Huh? But no, no, verse 14, seek good and not evil that you may live. And so the Lord, the God of hosts, uh, shall be with you as you have spoken. See, it's a lot of folk talking about God is with them. It's a lot of folk lying on God. Amen. The Bible declares, amen, that the wicked prosper in this world here. But now we're in the world, Jesus said, but not out the world. You believe saying, man, God take care of our needs. And the Bible declares in Hebrews, amen, give you content with such things as you have. See, true saints are content with what God gave them, and they ain't running out to nothing else. You believe saying, man, all right, all right, but you know, I got to get ahead. Hey, you better get saved. 
See good and not evil that you may live so the Lord of hosts shall be with you as you have spoken. Hate the evil and love the good. All right. And establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. All right. Now watch this. In the aim of six and one, brother, he hears the warning. Woe to them that are at ease in Zion and trust in the mountain of Samaria. Woe unto them that's at ease in God's house, at ease in America. Oh, glory to God. At ease. Amen. Pray God. God ain't on our mind. We ain't even thinking about God. Amen. Praise God until hell hit. You believe me? Say amen. Huh? I, amen. Psalms 10 verse 4. Psalms chapter 10 verse 4. The wicked through the pride of his countenance. Brother, pride is running rampant in this nation here. That's why people do what they do because they big enough, they bad enough. Amen. Praise God. But when you leave this world, I want to see you stop death from coming. And I want to see you, amen, sleep from sliding into hell. You believe me? Say amen. Let me simmer down there a little bit. I feel good. I feel something this morning. Amos warned that bunch in this day. Amen. Amos warned them. Warning them that I these in Zion. Trusting in a man. Yes, sir. All right. We need men like Amos. Amen. Men like Jeremiah. Amen. We need men like, amen, Isaiah. Amen. But watch this. Move next door. Move next door. And watch what happened. God told Habakkuk, amen, Habakkuk 3. Excuse me, back at chapter 2, I will stand up on my watch and set me up on my, my, on the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I'm reproved. All right, preacher don't want to be a reproved. All right, we talking about we got all the answers. The devil is a lie. God is the answer. You believe me? Say amen. All right, the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it play upon tables that he may run that read and run well. Run to God, you read me, say amen. Why, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and I say, you don't get righteous until you come to God. You believe me, say amen. All right, verse 3. Habakkuk 2 and verse 3. For the vision is for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Why? Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Behold, his soul which is lifted up in him is not, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Verse 15. Woe unto them that give it his neighbor drink and put it the bottle to him and make him drunken at that thou mayest look on thou naked and brother we wait man we drinking amen jesus told us in the last day just before he come matthew 24 they'll be eating and drinking as it was in the days of noah so shall it be in the time when the son of man come as it was in the days of lot brother they eating drinking fornicating committing adultery homosexual amen lesbian amen praise god seeing running around pen but god put them down you baby shy man and watch what happened watch what happened to this government here. Brother America's flowing this mess in God's favor. Brother God just let the elements are loose on us. And brother, you tighten us up. All right. All right. I ain't got no axe to grind. I ain't got no denomination to defend. Psalm 14. Let, 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 let's go back. See what the psalmist got to say about this thing here. In Psalms 14. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Psalms 14 and verse, verse 1. The fool has said in his heart that there is no God. Brother, we got a lot of fools this morning. We got a lot of men claim to be this and claim to be that. Paul the Apostle in Romans chapter 1 said we profess ourselves to be wise, but we become fools. You may be shame on Why? Because we're trying to get around God. Why do you think they're trying to do all these, have all these medical advances now? Amen. Praise the Lord. You may, amen, you may put that man on a respirator, but brother, the spirit ain't there. You may be shame on the man is gone. All you got is a shell. The fool has said it is hard to dare is no God. I ain't got to serve God. I hear you. Uh, let me live like I want to live. Let me take my chance. You ain't taking a chance. Brother, sister, you taking a leap right into hell with your eyes wide open. You will be shamed bad. All right, Psalm 14, 1. The fool has said it is hard there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that do it good. None. Uh -huh. All right, the Lord looked down from heaven to upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and see God. And brother, I made up in my mind that I'm going to do this here. Uh, they are all going aside. They are all to, all together become filthy. There's none that do it good. No, not one. Have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge. All right. Are you crazy? Are you a fool or what? All right. Who eat up the, my people and eat the bread like bread and call not upon the Lord? There, that were they in great fear, for God is in the generation of the righteous. All right, watch this. Watch this. Now, that's Psalms, huh? Huh? 
That's Psalm number nine. Proverbs, brother. Sister, we, amen, pray to God, this man pinpoints why we got so much hell going on in this nation here. Amen, praise the Lord. And I want to remind you that the Bible said, Proverbs 14, 34, amen, the right that exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. You believe it? Say amen. All right, right. Well, let me, let's read it. Let's read it. Let's read it. In the book of Proverbs, amen, praise God. In the book of Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 22. How long you simple will you love simplicity? How long you simple ones will you love simplicity? How long you going to stay stupid? How long you going to ignore God? How long you going to try to run your own life? All right, let's read. How long you simple ones will you love simplicity? And you scorners delight in your scorning and you fools hate knowledge. All right, now watch this. Can you at my reproof? All right, behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Uh, my what? My words. And brother, sister, if you get saved, you're going to get saved by hearing and obeying this word. You believe me saved, man? Huh? Thank you, Lord. The word's going to be at the judgment. You believe me saved, man? All right. Watch this. Turn you at my reproof. I will pour my spirit upon you. I'm in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. And you ain't going to understand this book without the spirit that wrote this book. All right. Verse 24. Because I've called and you refused. Uh huh. I stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Mm hmm. You have said it not all my counsel. You would none of my reproof. All right. And in Romans chapter 1, they, won't, they wouldn't retain God in their knowledge. They didn't want to think about God. They weren't thinking about God. Didn't want to think about God. And brother, God gave them up. You believe me? Say amen. All right. All right. But you have said it not all my counsel. You would none of my reproof. I don't want you telling me what to do. I hear you. And I also say I'll laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear comes. Because it's coming, brother. It's coming, sister. Amen. You may think you done got away. You may get by, but you won't get away. You believe me? Say amen. All right. When your fear coming as a desolation and your destruction coming as a whirlwind, uh, a tornado, huh? Uh, uh, when distress and anguish come on you, uh, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer, uh huh? Uh, they will seek me early, yes, sir, but they shall not find me. Why? For they hated knowledge, uh huh? They wanted to stay fools. You don't even say amen, huh? They hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, huh? They would not of my counsel. I don't hear nothing you preachers got to say. I hear you. Huh? They would not on my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. Yes, sir. And the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of food. And brother, we running after prosperity today. Uh, we running after the amen. Praise God like a cow to the cood. All right. Uh, prosperity of food shall destroy them. But whosoever hearken unto me shall dwell... Dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. All right. All right. Let's move. Let's move in Psalm 65, brother. Excuse me. Isaiah. Well, amen. Isaiah had something to say about this bunch. Isaiah 5 and 20. Warning them that call good evil and evil good, huh? And brother, we, we qualify. Yes, sir. But in the 66, 65th chapter, in the 65th chapter of Isaiah, amen. Pray God. Watch what this book say. Amen. Psalms, uh, uh, Isaiah 65. And verse 11, watch this. Isaiah 65, verse 11. But ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish the drink offerings unto that number. Therefore I will number you to the sword, and ye all shall bow down to the slaughter. Because when I call, ye did not answer. Uh huh. Many of you have heard the call of salvation many years and you turn God down. Many of you, amen, pray God, you've under conviction right now and you're turning God down. You thumb your nose up, amen, pray God, I'll get saved when I get ready. No, you won't, brother. No, you won't. I'll accept Jesus Christ on my own terms. No, you won't, brother. No, you won't, brother. You'll accept him by the terms of this Bible and the terms of this Bible, Jesus Christ said, amen, pray God, better to, uh, if your eye offend you, pluck it out. If your hand offend you, cut it off. If your foot offend you, cut it off. It's better to enter into eternal life without a hand, a foot, or an eye than to enter into hell fire where the fire is not quenching the worm the soul dies not the only way to get out of hell is through repentance you'll be saved surrender to God yes sir all right all right he called but they didn't answer huh when I called you did not answer when I spake you did not hear you close your ears up all right sound like that bunch amen pray God Isaiah talking about ain't it 
uh, uh, Jesus quoted, all right? But did evil in mine eyes and did choose that wherein I delight not in. All right, all right, wait a minute. Wait a minute, brother. Chapter 66 and verse 4. Watch this. I sh uh, because you did that, watch what I do. God said, I will also choose, also will choose their delusion. Brother, we deluded today. Amen. We are walking through this life here, amen, without any compass. You know what a compass is. It helps you to define your direction, but now the Bible declare, Proverbs 3 and 5, trust the Lord with all your heart, lead not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he'll direct your path. But you're walking around here, this government is in delusion. Huh? This nation is in delusion. The church world is in delusion. Brother, we drunk off religion. We ain't got a lick of salvation. You leave me shame. Yes, sir. I said it. I ain't taking it back. Amen. Amen. Verse 4, I will also choose the delusion and will be bring their fears upon them because when I called, none did answer. And when I spake, they did not hear. Why? But they did evil before mine eyes and choose that which I delight not. All right, hear the word of the Lord, ye that tremble at his word. Huh? Your brethren that hated you, that cast you out of, for my name's sake. Watch out now. He's talking to me now, see. Let the Lord be glorified, but he shall appear to your joy and to their shame. And the voice, a voice of noise from the city, a voice from the temple, a voice of the Lord that rendered recompense to his enemies. Yes, sir. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Jeremiah, can you help me? Jeremiah 5 and verse 1, run to and to and fro through the city, Jeremiah, through the streets of Jerusalem. And see now and see if there's anybody, amen, got any sense, huh? Uh, let's read it. Amen. Jeremiah 5 and verse 1, run to, run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see and know and seek in the broad place there if you can find a man. See, God just looking for one man. You believe me, shame man, that'll stand and declare the whole counsel of God. You believe me, shame man. Yes, sir. And I made it in my mind, I'm going to be that one. Will you be one? Will you be one in that number? If there be any that execute judgment and that seeketh the truth. Uh, the seeketh the what? Seeketh the truth. Brother, in this truth series, I reveal things to you. Amen. Pray to God. And I preach things. Amen. And most preachers would out, that have been outlawed. Most preachers have outlawed what I'm preaching out of their poor pits. Huh? Uh, you might upset the people. They don't give no more money. I hear you. You hollering. And though they say the Lord liveth, surely they swear false. Ain't there a bunch talking about how much they love the Lord. Amen. Lord don't know nothing about it. Uh, and works they deny him. All right. Jeremiah 5, eh? verse 21. Watch this. Here, now, now this, oh foolish people. Listen, America. Listen, church world. Listen, church folks. Hear, hear now this. Oh, foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, and have ears and hear not. Uh-huh. Uh, wait a minute. Fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Ye, will you not tremble at my presence, which, uh -huh, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea? God did that by perpetual degree that it cannot pass. Uh -huh. The water can't go over the land because God told it not to. All right. Though the waves there be uh, uh, tossed themselves, yet can they not prevail. Though they roar, yet can they not pass over it? Wait a minute. But this people have a revolting and a rebellious heart. All right. He's getting out to the knit and grit now, brother. All right. They are revolting and gone. Neither say they in their heart, let us now feel the Lord. All right. I got that. Uh, he may give rain, both the farm and ladder, and his seed. Uh, he, he reserve it unto us the appointed weeks of harvest. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What did it say? Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. All right, that still stands today, brother. God ain't blessing sin. Don't you let no preacher fool you. Don't you let no devil uh, coming in religious garb fool you. All right. Verse 26, for among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait, and he that set it in snares, set, uh, d d he that, away, as he set it snares, that it, it track, catch men. Huh? They may, may, what? Catch men. All right? Watch this. 
Verse 29, shall I not visit for these things, said the Lord? Shall not my soul be avenged on such as a, a nation as this? A wonderful and a horrible thing is committed in the land. Why? The prophets prophesy falsely. The priests uh, bear rule by their means, by the false prophets. Uh, they in cahoots with one another. Amen. This man invites some outstanding fella out of New York or Chicago or big city to come down around the revival. They didn't already agree how much money they're going to suck the people out of. Amen. And when the preacher leaves, he gives the, uh, the, the pastor a cut. Hallelujah. All right. All right. Silly man. Silly man. The prophets prophesy false and the priests bear rule by their means and my people love to have it so why? When you don't accept God's full terms of salvation and deliverance, brother, you got to accept the counterfeit. Yes, sir. All right, all right. What will you do in the end, though? Oh, my God. Huh? Huh? But the remedy, brother, is found in Jeremiah 6, 16. Stand ye in the ways. God's ways. Huh? Stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old pair. Honey, we, we hollering about, well, you know, we ought to go back to the old pair. Listen, brother, I ain't never laughed. You be saying that, and you should never have laughed the old pair. Running after this new mess. All right. All right, Jesus told us in the last days, amen, pray God, there'll be demons and devils coming in the form of men, talking about they Jesus Christ. This fellow, amen, praise God, uh, uh, Ho De Jesus Miranda, amen, claiming he's Jesus Christ, got thousands of folks following him, brother, that's a devil, you hear me? That is a devil. Jesus Christ said when he come back to this earth, and he ain't going to be reincarnated in nothing, you believe me, say that? When he set foot on this earth, brother, he's coming back with judgment. And every eye going to see him. You be saying that. All right. All right. You better wake up. Stay in your way. See, you can ask for the old pair where it's a good way. Walk there in. When you find it, walk in. All right. You should find rest for your soul. There ain't no rest outside of this way here. All right. But they said we will not walk there in. I hear you. Also, I said, watch them though. You saying that you're hearkening to the sound of the trumpet. But they said we will not hearken. Therefore, uh, uh, therefore, hear your nation. Oh, uh, and no, oh, congregate, what is among them? All right, all right, brother, we in trouble. We in trouble with God. We ain't in trouble with men. We in trouble with God. I know that sound like a broken record, but if it's the truth, you can't deny it. I ain't going to deny it. Amen. Pray God, self, we repent as church folks. Amen. This nation, amen, is on its way out anyhow. You can't find America in the Bible except you, you pinpoint her as a daughter of Babylon. You believe the same man. All right, and we in this day, amen, pray God, world, amen, John, the, the, the 15th chapter, 18th verse, let's read, let's read. Brother God has given us to warn the people, amen, pray God, wake up and come out of sin, amen, trust Jesus Christ because hell is eternal. Just, oh, bless his name. Now, you watch it now. John 15 trying to blend in and, and make friends and form alliances with this and that. John 15 verse 18, if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I've chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. And now when if the world changes his mind? Wake up, beloved. Wake up. Remember the word that I said to you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. All right. If you have per they have persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they'll keep your words. All right. But all these things will they do unto you for my name. Say why? Because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. I'm in John 15, verse 23. He that hated me hated my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other dumb man did, they had not had sin, but now they have both seen me and hated both me and my father. But this come to pass that the word might be fulfilled which that is written in their law, they hated me without a cause. All right, chapter 16, John 16, 1. These things have I spoken unto you that you should not be offended. Yes, sir. But watch this. They should put you out of the church, out of the synagogue. Yea, the time coming when whosoever killeth you would think that he's doing God a service. These things will they do unto you because they know not, they have not known the Father nor me. All right, I got to get out of the Father, in the name of Jesus, take the word of God, let it strike red, fast, red and hard to the hearts of those people. And God give us grace and mercy to see you before this time. Our time is up. In Jesus' name, amen.